I just hey everybody, welcome to the stacks. Yeah. Holy shit! We are in a new venue, the Wofford on Wofford Street. Uh, with a giant Lone Star beer flag behind us yeah. and a beautiful painting of really wet lips. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hannah Ooh. made that. Um, uh, so we got the usual gang together. We got Ned Gale. Hey. Ruth Hirsch. I'm Josh Brokaw. And our special guest this evening is Roger Anderson. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. How are we feeling in this new space? Really good. I love this place. This, this is place my first is time here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because you didn't come to Let's Kill Stand Up when I had it here? I didn't. I was doing a lot that day and I had a show afterwards. Mm -hmm. He remembers the specific <laughs> day. I don't even remember which day it was. <laughs> Do you remember, Roger? It was Thursday. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> he's that too good. Very good. We oh, mainly had him on uh, the podcast tonight to talk about calendar days. Yeah. Uh, so many. Oh, yeah. No, just start from the top. Uh, it's a leap year, so you better start now. Wait, which day do you start with? Do you start with the first day of the work week? And do, do you keep to the weekend, as it were, or do you start with Sunday? Who, me? Oh. Yeah, Wait, you. I thought Roger, he's the expert here on no. calendars. <laughs> Calendar. Come on, get it together. No, uh, I would start on a Sunday. That's my that's my standard. Mm -hmm. I was raised Catholic. Oh, is that a Catholic thing? <laughs> I think. Well, uh, no, I don't know. Oh, I don't oh, know. No, I'm like putting Sunday. a corner pretty early in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, first of all, you put yourself in that corner, okay? So, which is actually quite empowering because there's that whole like nobody puts baby in a corner, but like baby <laughs> can put herself in a corner. That's true, <laughs> and baby half. Put herself in the corner. And Corinthians baby. sixteen three race Catholic. <laughs> Says he's not. Like, come on, that sounds legit to me. Um, so I was thinking while you guys were talking about all that of a way to make up a story about how um, Anderson means something about calendars, but it didn't come together. So let's just talk about the real you. <laughs> like, Damn moment, it! Moment of silence for the bit that never was. <laughs> Uh, sure. Oh, what well, my last name means? Oh, do you know? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, man. This means at some point, I my dad was named Andrew. And oh. then I was his son, and then his son, his son, his son. Wow. Uh, my, you sure my, you're not Swedish? So it was like Anders' son? I could be. It could, I don't know. I don't know your lineage. Ned, I'm not your brother. <laughs> Please be. Uh, okay. Uh, no, uh, it's Anderson is, I, it's like one of the most, uh, uh, popular last names. I forgot what ranking it was. My first name. Everyone loves it. The Roger or the last name? Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, everyone loves it. It's so one. popular. It's so Everybody popular. loves an Anderson. Since the Matrix. We've all seen that bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my first name is interesting because like uh, my mom got me a, a Christian name book and they're like, and I looked it up my name and said. All the names were Christian. <laughs> Christian well, <laughs> essentially uh, what, what I learned was I, I, I had a Christian name book and a regular name book. One of them said warrior and the other one said warrior for God. <laughs> so oh. I realized that the Christian name book was just real easy to make. <laughs> you just copy and paste. Blacksmith um, for God. Yeah. Then, then later on, I learned in the UK, we were talking about this earlier, my name means fucking. Roger, Wait, Roger really? so in, it's aggressive fucking. That's my name. Specifically aggressive? Can I curse? Yes, yeah. yes, oh, yes. Okay. yes. Yeah, you already like, said your name plenty. Like <laughs> aggressive, it's not like, a, oh, we're going to have a romp in the sheets or something like that. It's like, you're going to get a good Roger. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to use that sound bit <laughs> where I'm picking chicks up. <laughs> Don't do that. Please. So like. It reminds me of my friend Steven romping the sheets too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Please. I keep forgetting that Steven means fingering. <laughs> 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 Ew. Yeah. That's yeah. What my name is. Do you think Jolly Roger has a thing to do with that? I was just going to ask that. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh, you mean because the pirates would go and they'd rape. skull fuck, and that's what the <laughs> Jolly Roger is. <laughs> These skull. used to have eyes. It's a skull yeah. and two two cross dick bones. <laughs> <Yeah. that? laughs> you know the they single long bone that makes. <laughs> yeah. They're like, no, I want to, and then they cross right they cross in front the of the dick skull. bones. They're like, this is way more fun. <laughs> It's that kind of pirate ship. <laughs> Starting to fire. Yeah. Real human dicks don't, they don't have bones in them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know. I wish, yeah, I wish I could tell you. Gosh. Okay, yeah. no, they do not. No, what? Wait, wait what? Humans don't, but other animals do. 
Uh, Which humans don't top, put top other five animals, animals with bone dicks? <laughs> I think. <laughs> Top five. Which which are the best five bone dicks? I would guess maybe whale if they have. Oh, she would guess oh, whale. Because it's so whale. big, you might need some support, oh, whale. or like yeah. at least some like puppeteering <laughs> strings, just like a whole That's crew. True. Okay, sorry, I how talked do, over you. That, that makes sense because like how would whales stay <gasps> oh, erect? Because the water. There's no gravity. Oh. <laughs> it's just floating around. And technically, really, the challenge is on the whale to just have a massive vagina. To just kind of oh. beep, beep, you know, like just park Just kind of engulf. Get in there. Yeah. And how do they stay lubricated in the water? Doesn't it just How do they away? stay lubricated? Oh, jellyfish jelly. Easily. Jellyfish. Oh. Yeah. They have, they have what's called a You're symbiotic not a relationship. Don't worry, I got <laughs> With jellyfish. With jellyfish and... Uh, <laughs> and and squids, so they squirt the ink. Oh, you know oh, what? That's a I, mess. I actually heard that. Um, oh, I do remember hearing about this. Yeah. So when the when the female whale she's becoming lubricated, it's not actually from the jellyfish. It's just stinging her insides, and her body's just <laughs> just oozing. Uh. It's just um, it's going out, out, out. Okay, I guess we can fuck. Oh, here comes my a, ooze. Yeah. I'm in a lot of pain, but yeah. you know. Why every, should that change anything? Every single sentence from the last five minutes could be a title of this episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Whoops, there goes my ooze with Roger Anderson. <laughs> Is that, are, we, are we all, did we all go to public schools that where we learned all this stuff? Just double checking. Yeah. Because uh, I know that they recently yep. changed the uh, Texas uh, textbooks to include some just new stuff that they wanted to add in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> we oh. cut, out some real, cut out some real important stuff. Uh, like, do you know like injustices and stuff? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> like they just like like this episode. <laughs> cut, cut those things out. Yeah. Just cut out some injustices. Yeah. I wonder if they thought that no one would notice, or if they just didn't care. <laughs> uh, they, I think they want the new generation not to be aware, aware of injustice. I don't know. Like, what's I, so funny about that is like. If you you want to hide injustices, but you take it out of a book, mm-hmm. like you have to like, like yeah, take it out of a movie. Take then it that'll out of really a, hide it. Yeah. But even know. in the books, no one's gonna look at that shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just like I just think about like I imagine kids today. Oh God, so old. <laughs> I imagine these kids today. I too imagine kids today. <laughs> <laughs> um. Mine have old puppy heads. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, I just imagine they do a lot of learning. They use the internet as a resource. So it's kind of like, oh, oh so you took these injustices out of a, out of a textbook. Oh, Ooh, now there's that was so sweet. So, yeah. <laughs> so you think that kids, after they sit through a class on the Boxer Rebellion, go home and Google Boxer Rebellion and not pornography. Hey, but they, but, hey. Now, now, now it could be a themed pornography. Yeah. 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 You can find one of the same name. I guarantee it. Somebody's having a rebellion and getting Rogered real nice. And you're, you're learning while you're exact. I don't know what the proper word for this. I'm going to silence myself. Wait, no. <laughs> but do you, there is, um, I've never, I've never said this about myself before. And you're going to understand in a second. The recorder's still recording, right? Okay. Uh, but like, um, there is, you can refer to a vagina as a box. I can? Well, you can. You can do anything. You're the guest. But um, but some people have done that. It is a yeah. thing if you looked it up online. Like who? Well, I, that's the thing. Let's I would never be list. like, ooh, ooh, that feels so good in my box. <laughs> my box's ooze is coming. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, someone with a rectangular dick, like why would you refer to it as a box? I think... I think that's a great question. I think there are a are lot... Are you thinking square peg with a square hole? It can be however you want to put it in there. I, yeah. I wouldn't be... I don't know. Yeah, where box comes from. Ooh. A hot box? Oh. Mercy. Because well, of all the smoke coming out? <laughs> for me, it's just because you're here. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so if, sorry. If we're talking... So it's uh, not wet box. ...about vaginal names, real quick. Someone once <laughs> said um, axe wound... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and, and it took everything to not like throw up through my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was funny, so I smiled, but it just came like like sprinkler yeah. vomit. Yeah, yeah. what? Gosh. Gosh. Take off the 
throwback to that. They call it a gash. Roll during gash. the gash. Gash. Ugh. Getting that mad sloppy oh. gash. <laughs> Yucky. I tend to ascribe everything that happens on this podcast to the guests, like, influence and the energy. Roger, you're fucked up. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think there's anything fucked up about body parts, okay? We don't have them. Yeah. We're calling them yeah. gash. Yeah. <laughs> Some him. of us more than others. <laughs> I'm a polydactyl. Come on, guys. No, I, I don't think there's anything. You're a I, flying dinosaur? Yep. <laughs> Mini flying dinosaurs. Whoa. <laughs> there's a there's a silent P before the, the audible P. Oh, yeah. Polydactyl. Oh, you know who was a polydactyl? Gemma Archerton. Ooh. No one knows who that yep. is. <laughs> Wild applause. Justice? She was uh, a, the she was in the James Bond movie. Skyfall? I don't know. She's a British actress, but she's like, she was on a bunch of uh, talk shows talking about it, and everyone's like, ooh, show everybody your weird hand. Okay. I was like, that's not what she went to theater what, school What for. host said that? Jonathan Ross. Wait, okay. I'm sorry. Does everyone know what a polydactyl is? Because I do not. You have an extra digit. Yeah. Okay, we well, yeah. have yeah. an extra digit. So more she, fingers, more toes, more teeth, maybe? No, not teeth. Yeah. Like cats? Like the Hemingway cats. Oh, the Hemingway with their little cats? thumbs? But the thing is, it's not uh, it's not jointed. So it's just hanging off there the side. You can still feel things, but it, you don't have the dexterity. Most most doctors oh. will cut it off with like a paper cutter. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but then some people still have it. So yeah. it's almost like you've got the finger, but you don't got any of the meat in there? <laughs> oh, no, you got, oh, you got the meat. You got nothing oh. but meat. You got nothing <laughs> but meat. You don't get that. You don't, 100%. Don't got that dick bone. In there. I was gonna say, just, we're coming full circle here. Yeah. Um, I feel really great about this. <laughs> I feel so great about. This. I'm because, learning so much. <laughs> because here's the thing: I think that like you can get a group of people talking about dick bones and axe wounds and like all this <laughs> stuff, and like going to like kind of like a really kind of like dark, dirty, like dirty. not good play. Like it's yeah. it's okay. I, I don't. You know, I don't, okay. I don't think I, I, I'd be a little weirded out if everyone was starting to get aroused in the whole place. But I mean, like in a real, like kind of like aggressive sort of way. And I, and I feel like this is all good. This is all good. I have an erection. <laughs> you don't I have, have to justify erection. it. No, it's Where fine. Where is Kelly? <laughs> this this is also was, a real sexy room. Like this the, is. The lighting, the lighting yeah. is real sexy. Yeah. It's beautiful. When I was walking up, when I went to go to my car, I walked up in the purple lights in That's the window. Funny. I was like, oh, yeah, this yeah. is exciting. I can't wait to be in those lights. And now here I am. So this them. is a great room. There's yeah. something about it. So Josh has done a few. Uh, did you have you one done more than one show? show? OK, I've done. Let's kill here. Yeah. Let's, let's kill, kill stand up. Yep. Yes. Full name. <laughs> and um, this room is like it's just so warm. Like you feel <coughs> invited very easily. You don't you don't. You don't yeah. go in and be like, oh, I got diarrhea yeah, right if, now. If, it, if you did your bit from Let's Kill in a room that felt uncomfortable, that would have been a complete disaster. Yeah, that um, would have been really awful. I can't remember the uh, context. I can only remember, like, it's the only thing that sticks in my brain. So Jerry was leaving. Yes. okay. Jerry was leaving. And um, I did a bit where... I was pretending like I was Jerry's estranged wife. Right. And I was sort of going through the reason we broke up. And then the whole thing culminated in me disrobing and revealing that I was wearing Cookie Monster boxers. <laughs> this is the most random thing ever. And then I forced, I was going to force Jerry to put on my dress to see what it felt like. <laughs> the best part. <laughs> is that Jerry had to leave early. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wasn't here. <laughs> yes. I remember I was yes. rehearsing a Backstreet Boys routine for yes. Jerry. Jerry had to leave early, so I was like, you know what? No, you 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 take care of yourself. Like, you've got to... You got to do you. Um, I'm going to be fine. Okay. I'm going to do this bit that is completely dependent on you being here. <laughs> um, I love you, buddy. And we're going to make this work. So... Billy was my stand-in Jerry. Um, and Still is. We did it. And I will tell you, Target dresses really can fit all sizes. Okay? <laughs> I, I still wear that dress. And, like, really? the seams, 
The seams, so durable. I was so durable. absolutely certain that dress was ruined as soon as Billy put it over you know his what? shoulders. And like, I felt it because he's just, he's just broader yeah. than me. He's a, bro he's a man. Yeah. I am not a man. Right. How many times do I have to say it? But, um. <laughs> what are we, but, 40 episodes into the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> but she sounds so manly. <laughs> um, anyway, enough about me. Um, let, let's let's put the let's let's put Roger hey, yeah, Roger, Roger to the spotlight. Hey, Roger. Thanks. Um so, so hey guys. what's the weirdest performance you've ever done? Ooh. Also, we haven't given any background about what yeah. you do, oh, yeah. Roger. Who, I'm so sorry. Who the fuck this is? Yeah. Yeah. Roger Anderson is a white man. I am a white man. <laughs> white man How about white five foot eleven, <laughs> uh glasses. Yeah. Pretty white. <laughs> um clocking in about a little over two hundred. <laughs> Golden apples? Oh, How wait, no, stones? Pounds, dollars? Pounds. Um, so he's British very, dollars? Very menacing, but with a but with a with kind eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> my stubble makes me look real dangerous. Like, soft he'll aura. stab you, but he'll go around the corner and call the ambulance afterward. <laughs> oh, also he does improv. Yeah. Yes. Do. Yes. I try, I try to. Uh, well, I guess that's like every. You try and succeed. Try. I heard, we heard a Thanks. shut up from the crowd. It's so bright and there's so many people. Oh, wait, no, it's Monica, lovely Monica, um, who I assume from that shut up uh, thinks that you're delightful. Some, some really also doesn't understand the nature of audio performance. <laughs> or is just tired of you talking. That could be just the oh, general. I'm, there's no consensus. doubt that she's tired yeah. of me talking. You got a funny way of showing it, lady. He's the guest <laughs> on a podcast. Your, your, your answer, your, your assumption is correct. I do a, a lot of improv <laughs> most of the time. How many I mean, I times a week man. do you think you're on stage doing improv? <laughs> well, or just how many times on uh, a week are you on stage? Uh, you know what? Not a lot. Really? Uh, yeah. So it's like any given weekend, I will be in maybe two shows. Um, but the the rest of over well, the but the rest of the uh, that's out of like six shows. Uh, but then the rest of the weekend, I'm either like teaching or coaching or doing some kind of thing. Okay, but you're so, you're interacting with improv. I'm interacting most of your with week. the art form pretty aggressively. Yeah, <laughs> you're giving it Wait, a good what's run. the aggressive part? Yeah, it, <laughs> trying to. Over like the average human, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, way more than the average human. Yeah. What is the average human's improv intake? Improv Since intake, you you're an improv well, teacher, it has in, uh, intake and output. If you if you had asked me that question in 1995, it would have been I don't know two percent. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. In today's climate, I think the average person is ex exposed to 20 percent improv on a weekly basis. Okay, I'm basing these numbers off not a lot, just <laughs> me picking some numbers. Yeah, uh, but the point I'm trying to make two, is two fantastic. Round numbers, yeah. good smooth curves on them. Great to oh, like, they're, imagine. they're great numbers. Yeah. Uh, well, the point I'm trying to make is I guess that ten times more. Percent. Yeah, exactly. It's it, that that's pretty accurate. Uh, in like the past <laughs> th four, like five years, um, the, Im the improv comedy has become like the butt of every joke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like was, it really has. Yeah, I was watching. They made fun of it in the Ted movie, which. Uh, uh, they the, make fun of it. The Ted movie City. or the Ted movie two? Which the, one? It was Ted two. Okay. Yeah. Ted the movie two. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking the movie Ted, just like somebody on a stage talking about movies. <laughs> a Ted talk about movies. Yeah. I'd watch that. Yeah. Yeah. You probably have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if not, we'll do it after this. Yeah. yeah okay. But I'm, I, you know what though? I'm okay with that. I think it's a super fun art form and I would love to... Have more people try it and then say, this is dumb. This is dumb. <laughs> and then stop. Or or they say, I love doing this. This is dumb. I'll yeah. continue to do I'll it. I'll continue to do this. Yeah. I'm addicted to this now. And then they're just sad for the rest of their lives. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. No, they're going to be sad anyway, but at least they're getting out. <laughs> <laughs> but at least they get some yuck yucks out of yeah. it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's so great. I mean, I, I love... I So... I won't say I have a love-hate relationship with improv. I'll say I have more of like a hate okay with myself. <laughs> and so and that kind of comes out when like you're on stage and you are yeah. performing. Um, to, yeah. But I don't know about y'all, but to me, it really depends on the team. If I'm on a team yeah. where like everyone's like, guys, this is a really important gig for us. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got to get into it. I, I that spent, sucks. I spent, I, spent a, I spent a spell of time in uh, Hollywood, California. and I really want you to talk about that a little bit because I remember well, I you having star. some bad roommates. Let's oh, talk about that later. Wait, 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 let's wait, talk wait, about wait, that wait. later. First, let's, let's talk about, about the pressure yeah. and what it does so, to first, you. So, so you're in Hollywood. 
It, People it's are interesting because like here, yeah. the comedy world here is pretty lax, but it's also pretty fast paced. I know that doesn't sound, that doesn't make sense, but like, like when I was living in Hollywood, everyone was just like, they were doing improv because one of these shows, Lauren Michaels is going to be there <laughs> and he's going to make them a star and then they won't have to wake up early anymore. <laughs> and it was like, and it was just like rough because like, I just like doing it. And so I was in these teams with other people who just sort of like, <laughs> you know, they, they, they weren't doing it because they wanted to have fun. And they were just like, guys, this is a really important show. We need to get up there and, you know, do this, make sure you don't do this. And like, this is an improv. Did you ever have people like, hey, can you set up a scene so I could do like my, my firefighter <laughs> character? Like, like still do it organically. It's I, improv, of I, course. I, I but did. like, I just want my firefighter I, character. I did have some certain things like that. Did I uh, set up those scenes? I did not. Good, good. <laughs> I did the good. opposite. Yeah. Uh, Man, we're in the world's like, wettest house right now. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing could ever happen that involves a firefighter. I've never seen so much water. I bet if I was a firefighter, I'd stay a million miles away from right here. <laughs> Maybe even two million. <laughs> also, we're all southern judges. I, 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 Are you well, practicing for yeah. Shut up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Matlock reboot. Um, I will say this. I do not know if y'all remember, but you guys and I were on an improv team. Oh, I remember. I remember Do you dearly. remember that? Dylan. Yeah, we were on an improv team Dylan. called Dylan. It was us and a guy named, what was his name? Uh, his name was Royal. <laughs> Royal. Yes. Right here. Uh, Royal. And I got to say, that was historically probably the most fun I've had in oh. a team. It was super really? fun. And almost to a problem, like almost problematically. <laughs> Because, like, I would be breaking in the middle of, like, I, I'd be laughing so hard, parts of my skin would be falling off. And I was so worried that I'd just have no more skin. Yeah. You know? That's right. a scary thought. It was, it was yeah. scary. Yeah. I was laughing so hard. I used to have a twin attached to me. She's dead now. So. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys she, all just all give each other leprosy? We, she, yep. We did. She got yeah, it. We were just rubbing, like, armadillos <laughs> on ourselves pre-show, I guess. The, the sad thing is. the, the <laughs> rolling around. <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> I'd be like, now you spook him. And I'm, I'm just going to lay like, and just roll all over my valley. We have, a, we have a clip of that if you want to show it. We but, shouldn't share that with people, the, though. I feel like there's some this, animal abuse the there. The sad thing is it was your twin that we had invited into the team. Yep. And you just, yeah. Ruth came along as extra. We invited her because she had extra fingers. She, had she extra was a polydactyl. <laughs> but uh, fingers fell off, twin fell off. off. Now we have Ruth. Yes, um, and? Oh. Sorry. Yes, continue. and but, she's dead now. <laughs> yes, and she's dead. Uh, but yeah, no, it's uh it's I don't know, it's one of those things where like I probably am not ever going to stop doing it, although it's like uh I probably should eventually. Do you do you think there is a time when someone should stop doing improv? Uh there's well, gotta be a spectrum, right? <laughs> there's like I don't would it, I, I could you, see you've myself. gone through a couple of programs. Did they ever touch on that? Where they're like, on, okay, <laughs> when it's appropriate. To so, not so looking at this crowd right now, uh, you two <laughs> should try to get through these levels quick, or something like that. Like, <laughs> what? No, uh, not not even not at all. Uh, because people love calling themselves, uh, considering themselves an improv teacher, and that's a, a really interesting thing. Because like, you. Uh, I, I'll go to I go to places and then people will be like, "Oh, I'm offering this improv workshop and blah blah blah." And I'm like, "What are your qualifications?" And I'm like, "Oh, I've been studying for about ten years." I'm like, "That doesn't tell me anything." Yeah. <laughs> like you just watched stuff, and it's a it's a real tricky uh, area. Um, it is a lot like the the music thing that you're going to bring up, I think, later in this thing. But it's like I don't know. People like to you know people just sort of like. Uh, they get in their heads about how qualified they are to do it. And it's like, the more you do that, the more it's like, why are you even doing it? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And for me, it's like, I, I maybe can see myself when I'm like 80, 86, not doing the whole. Totally 86ing it? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird position. <laughs> I'm like this. You set it up. Um, yeah. You pushed uh, off the stage. I, I can see myself not doing it. But, like, as far as, like, doing bits with people, I don't think I can not do that because that's the only way I get through my work day. <laughs> like, that's, like, your number one way of communicating. Yeah, bits. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's exclusively how I talk to people now. Uh, I got to get that email from Jeff. Better do a bit with them about email. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to sit here and write a, write a bit before I can go talk to him. Yeah. My work or, day's or, over. Or else he's going to start talking to me about his honeymoon, which I oh. do not want to oh. hear about. Oh. Ugh. Yucky. Have you heard not, about not it? And nice, can you tell us about nice it? Person. 
No, uh, his honeymoon? Yeah, can you just tell us about that? Um, Wait, is this a real person? Jeff is not, I, I don't okay. have a coworker named Jeff, but I do have a coworker. Do you want one? He loves hanging out oh. by my desk eating walnuts. He just, <laughs> he got a big old, he got a big old bag of walnuts. He just stands out by my nest, desk and starts munching on him. And New I'm bag, like, same bag. Extreme honeymoon. What, uh, he, uh, he, he, Walnut country? Walnut country. He, <laughs> my coworker loves to listen to, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't hear this. He loves listening to country music on his speakers. Okay, we just won't put country music in the podcast. <laughs> Good, thank you. Uh, no, he, he just, he has speakers at his desk. We are in cubicles. He's got speakers at his desk. <laughs> he just turns it up. Like, everyone's just been. And you even complain about it in a southern accent. Yeah. Am I like am I a country singer? <laughs> uh, that's uh, I I fall in and out of a southern accent sometimes. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. Do you know if he ever read Goosebumps? Have, have I ever read Goosebumps? No, but did he your your I coworker? I don't know. Because maybe if he he listened to he read Goosebumps, and maybe what you could do is like make like maybe like a fake like Goosebumps monster, but like come on out of his speakers, <laughs> and so then like it's like ooh ooh. Ooh, this is only a monster come on out here when you, you're disturbing everybody around you. This is an open workspace. And if you don't turn it off and be more respectful, then we're, I'm just going to get your little fingernails. So if you, yeah, if you just do that. All right. <laughs> RL time. What, what, what is your step one of setting that up? <laughs> like, <laughs> Okay. Um, know when he's in the office. Okay. <laughs> I was a fool to only ask for one step. Let's move on. Uh, How do you know, perhaps when there's country music playing, that is he's giving music. himself away. He's putting himself right in your if hand. If you just fill oh. his speakers full of gack, ghost or no ghost, no one likes gack like coming out of their speakers. Oh. That'll freak him out. Voice I, hated, no voice. Yeah. I had I got, uh, remember they sold it commercially and you got little containers of gack. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. It was fun for... Four minutes. It hardened very fast. It, it oh. hardened much like my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> I play with Gak and Floam constantly. Floam. That is a, a environment killer. Yeah. <laughs> was Floam the inside of a Stretch Armstrong? <laughs> Something like that. It was like that if you mixed it with Gak. Yeah. Hey, do y'all remember Squand? No. <laughs> Squid? Is that like square sand? Squid. Is this you can put Squid. in your box? Yeah. No. Okay. It's not. Um, so Is basically, that a character that squints a lot? It could be, but in this case, it's not. Um, well, damn it. But you could throw it in someone's eyes <laughs> and make them squint. It's um, sand, but then um, you put it in water and it doesn't get wet. <laughs> Is it hydrophobic? It's a hydrophobic sand. Yeah, but it wasn't oily. Okay, Rahul. Oh, it's just like a squishy moldable sand. Oh, oh the, that's where the squa comes from. Squishy yeah, sand. Yeah. Squishy. Uh, and you can like make like a sand castle inside. If you, you know, if you don't go to the beach. <laughs> That's insane. But, there was, like, yeah. there but was it was like fun colors, thing. right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's fun. Yeah. You make like a fish. You make like a fish? I think I do like remember this commercial, but I think I might also just be thinking of Floam still. Because yeah. Floam, Floam was still like sandy, right? Sandy. Not sandy, yeah. larger sand, larger granules. I feel like if you... So Grand the commercial, old granules. The commercial I know about is like that classic 90s setup where... Um, it's like the economy was it's good. like a cartoon no like an a cartoonish version of an adult and like with a fish eye lens and then just oh. like real close up and then going like squand but what is it like, uh, like really like it's adults just, were the worst uh, I can't understand this color I, I never got I never understood that I mean I liked my parents I never understood how every cart you know toy cartoon was like parents suck they don't get how we like messy things i'm like i don't like messy things <laughs> i like my parents they give me food and stuff did you wear a bow tie as a child <laughs> no uh, i like to think of you like as a little kid like every time one of those commercials came on you just like found your parent just like held their hand <laughs> <laughs> like you're just like scared no i was i was not like a goody two shoe two shoes child Goody but, three shoes? Goody three shoes. You're polydactyl again? Uh, yeah. Um, but I, I 
ever since or when I was really little, I liked Batman re- real early on, and Injustices really made me angry. <laughs> so like, if it was like second, if it was second grade, if it was like the second grade, and like somebody yelled, but they didn't have to flip a card, I would just get so mad. <laughs> Which is like he was supposed to flip a card. Flip, flip a card is a, is a. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, we we had, we had to move a clip like down a, a yeah. rod of colors. We had they, to pull they, a bear. You know what? Pull a bear. Pull a. You had to. You had bears. <laughs> there were uh, bear shaped cutouts of cardboard, and we each had like a pocket full of them on the wall. And then uh, you went from green to yellow to, to red to I'm calling your parents. <laughs> to we can't bear this any longer. Call yeah. Me. But you know they would never turn down the uh, the uh, tuition to the private preschool. <laughs> oh, terrible. So you're not getting kicked out of there. Yeah. <laughs> you do anything you want. Maybe your desk is moving, but... <laughs> anyway, yeah, you were... Um... Wait, can I say... Oh, just, you, so you just had a card that you... Fl- was there only two good, bad flip? Uh, no. It was the same. It was the same system where we had different gradients of disobedience. <laughs> I only had to flip my card... Twice. Oh. Uh, once because I was late and the teacher made us flip cards. Two because I didn't finish my work and they started. Why am I saying this? And they started <laughs> doing the reading, the reading corner. Um, but I couldn't go to the reading corner because I was not done with my vocabulary worksheet. And I was sitting there. You wouldn't understand half the words. I know. <laughs> and so they were doing the reading corner, and I was like finishing up this work, and then. Um, she goes, next we'll do uh, the books like the the boy and the sto- then the whale or something like that. I turn around, I was like, hey, I have that book. And she goes, flip a card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> that's, not, that's not me not doing my vocabulary. Yeah, I, I didn't quit just now. I'm I letting you know. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know I have this book and it's really good. You're going to have a fun time. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to be a part of it. Roger, I'm sorry, but at the stacks, we have a similar thing. Oh, and shit. you mentioned a whale twice on the podcast. Can I just flip a card? Nope. You're going to have to flip that microphone upside down. Oh, Continue to shit. talk into it, but upside shit. down. This is terrible. Actually, this sounds better. Oh, I meant... Uh, oh, you just rolled it. <laughs> <laughs> Z-axis. Yep. Uh, I think you meant like, like almost like... Like, a, like hardcore like a, singer. Yeah. Right, if you could just right. clutch the cable. Oh, you said hardcore. I was going to say Japanese game show. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. And it's a marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get it, but don't bite it. Don't bite it. All right, we're, we're going to get this sorted out, uh, yeah. <laughs> and also we're going to take a break to get this sorted out. So um, we're playing some music by uh, somebody who lives in the venue. Uh, this is another run.
days since I have seen your face. Will you give me your love? I mean, stack back. Uh, man, we should have a cool catchphrase like that. Guys, mail into the stacks, 33333 three, three, three Street. Uh, P.O. Box. P.O. Box, the mailbox. <laughs> and send us your best stacks catchphrases. Care of Merv Griffin. I'm going to edit my <laughs> address out. Of Chicago, Illinois. Two. Wait, what? I always get the, the zip code wrong. What is it? 60652. Oh, boy. I always get scruff. Oh, no. Did he not get your letters? I've been mailing a lot of letters. 60652. Scruff College is not going how I thought it would. <laughs> They're all going to Fred McGriff, the other crime dog. <laughs> Wait, what'd you call him? Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff. <laughs> is it Fred McGriffed? Like I've been grifted. Yeah, I have a base baseball podcast now, so I had to give, make a baseball reference. I went to a, uh, a pay for school that was grifted and talented uh, <laughs> don't know where my money went uh, welcome back to the stacks oh my we're goodness. all still the same people all the same organs and flesh so uh, are we I got a penis bone while we were gone you got a what? penis bone oh Oh, they said Pop penis pump. I was hoping you said another penis so I could make another polydactyl joke. Uh, I pulled one out of a bat. Poly polydactyl. 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 Yeah, that, was it. that was the joke I was going to make. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm good. We got that, <laughs> got that out of the way. Polydickhole. <laughs> Please don't call the episode That's, polydickhole. <laughs> I That's actually have like a shit ton of dick holes in like my flute. lifetime. <laughs> two dick holes? Yeah, well, I was born on. with one on the bottom, so they did surgery to re like when I was an infant. Interesting. So you should have just got a piercing oh, and called you it a day. Like a, like a, uh, an off ramp. Yeah, yeah. It just, it just went the wrong way. I get it. I get it. How do they correct it from a from Spackle. a city planning standpoint? They just put they just put some uh, squam. What'd you call that sand? <laughs> squam. <laughs> they put some squam in there and let it harden. It's all good. Just don't get it wet. <laughs> Stays dry, you guys. I'm gonna send like out the commercial. Don't get your dick wet. Yeah, <laughs> that's the doctor day one. Uh, yeah, just a stitch and a poke. <laughs> I remember it as if it was yesterday. <laughs> I was born with two dick holes. I was a poly dick hole. One whole dick with two holes. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> um. So, you guys. <laughs> Roger, we mentioned earlier, uh, yeah. I really wanted to hear some stories about your L.A. living time. Sure. Uh, if I recall correctly, you told us during a Dylan uh, uh, rehearsal. I think I did. Uh, <laughs> about some bummer roommates. Well, let me, let me, uh, here's the deal. Easy. They are, I don't hold any grudges against them. They're guys. Um, <laughs> but um, so, uh when I did move to Los Angeles for a, a, for a spell, uh, originally I had how long for a spell? It was a little, <laughs> I think, a little bit over or under a year. I don't remember. A spell and a half. However, it took me to finish my improv training, um, which I am now an expert. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I mean, but, obviously, clearly. Um, and so, uh, originally, I had found a place to live through mutual friends. And so for months they were like, "Yeah, it's cool. Uh, you'll uh, you'll just stay in this room, and everything's gonna be great. All right, sounds good." And then a month before I flew out, uh, the guy sent me a message. He was like, "Oh, change of plans. My friend's gonna take the room. So uh, better luck next time." I was like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> like I bought airfare and what?" So I went on the Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, that's the right. Not just still had a Z in the title. Yeah, yeah. I went to the old Craigslist and I searched for places. Just places where I didn't need a car and found one place. Uh, and he was like, the room is small, but the rent's 650. So I'm like, that's the only place I can live. So <laughs> I um uh I ended up finding this place, and it was a house with like 
there was four or one, two, three, four other guys. So it was five people in this house. We all shared a bathroom. <laughs> yeah. And um, the guys in that house were like, I don't, I, I just didn't connect with them on any kind of wavelengths. Uh, the one that you're thinking about, um, we'll just call him E. Uh, so this it is- It was Edward. It was Edward. <laughs> Sorry for listening to Edward. So this guy worked for... Wait, was that real? No. Okay. God, it's it's a different e. This guy worked for some production company and um, he... So he would always like come in, like I was watching TV in the common area one time and then uh, he came in, he's like, Anthony's bringing home a fat girl. We're all going to watch. And I was like, <laughs> oh. So we're like, we're like not in the same we don't do this speak the same language here and i learned that we don't speak the same language uh this guy would every weekend oh all right, all right. so so here, here's the first thing this guy would watch full house a lot he would watch episodes of full house a lot now this was before the hit sensation fuller, fuller house, house. Pre, pre so fuller house this was pre PF. fuller house fuller house the, Full House was not on the radar. Well, it, it, so, somewhat. Now, here's the deal. ABC Family, I, at one point, they had reruns of it, I guess. And so I, at first I was like, oh, that's totally cool. That's fine. You know, if he's just want to be nostalgic, that's whatever. I'm cool with it. And then one day I walked by his room and I noticed there was no ABC Family thing in the bottom <laughs> corner. And it was very clear. And below it, there was a DVD player. He was watching a Full House box set. Like, he bought the DVDs and was watching. I'm like, this guy is a killer. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, this is not good. He had this enormous, like, one part of this wall was a huge American flag. I love America. But your whole wall. <laughs> that's, that's fucked up. Where do, you get, where do you get this thing? And he would, um, uh, it was just, it was very, it had, we had different societal views. And also, he would come home. Uh, after a weekend of fishing, he would bring the fish in. Literal he'd, fishing. Yeah, literal fishing. He, he, he'd bring fish in, open up the refrigerator, take things out, put fish in. That was the end. <laughs> and he did the same thing with laundry. He'd go, if there was... Just put fish, fish right in, in the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, he, he would go, take stuff out of the washer, like, and not put it in the dryer, just take it out uh, <laughs> mid-cycle. Yeah, and then he just put, throw his stuff in there, and then go, and then he like smash up the stairs, like stomp up the stairs, and go. Hey, Anthony, remember that girl from uh, the other night? I didn't think she'd be down to fuck, but she totally was. <laughs> Slam everywhere you look. <laughs> everywhere. I was just like, I was just like, I gotta go. I gotta leave this place. <laughs> But that's good. Did, did that keep you out of the house and like seeing the beautiful, yes. of whatever it is, city of LA? Yes. And the, the funny thing. So, so that's like the best roommate. He was encouraging was, you to get out. It was. Uh, the, my other roommate, oh God, uh, th this guy, he was a comedian. Well, he tried to be a comedian for a while. And so, and he was the one that set up the room. And so when I met him, he was like, uh, man, it's going to be great having another comic in the house. And I was like, cool. Uh, and then he's like, you know, I started off um, doing uh, comedy or doing like uh, acting, but I think I'm more of a director now. Like, I think I understand how to take people's talents and move it. And I'm working on this uh, sports comedy script. It's coming along really great. I'm like, great. Way to go, man. Um, and so I didn't. Uh, uh, I only kind of saw him in passing until I moved out a year later. And then he's like, uh, hey, man, it's been great. Uh, I really think the sports the sports comedy <laughs> is going to pick up soon. So things are looking pretty good for me. <laughs> like, great. Um, but it was uh, – he would have the, the most violent fights with his girlfriend. And it was the type of thing that like – if I wasn't already trying to, like, just get out of the city, I should, probably should have called somebody. But they ended up breaking up, so don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Problem but, solved. No. <laughs> but, like, I, by violent, I mean they were, like, destroying things in the house. They just picked things up and throw against walls and stuff. Wasn't Taking it cute? Taking fish out from anywhere and tossing it. It wasn't it They wasn't just had cute. so much passion. Yeah. yeah well, that's it goes what, both that's, ways. That's what he said because he was an Italian guy. He would always say, like, I've got an Italian passion. I'm like, it sounds just, like, abusive. Um, <laughs> and the main thing is that at the time, I was working remotely. 
I was doing customer support, like tech support <laughs> from my room. So I'd be, I'd be sent there. I was like, all right, so can you see that little uh, Firefox logo? I need you to double click on that logo. All right. Now, can you tell me what you see? And then all of a sudden in the hallway, would be like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You know my mother said that and I hate that. And she's just like, ah, slash, 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 slash. All right, go ahead and click so on the. As ahead, long click. as your computer's making the same sound, you should be good. <laughs> just fine. Uh, the other ones were not too bad. One, one guy, he would always like name drop. He'd be like, uh, so yeah, yeah, got Zoe Deschanel water today. And uh, she kind of made eye contact with me. I was like, yeah, I know. No, you didn't. You didn't make eye contact with Zoe Deschanel. Or was it just Katy Perry with bangs? <laughs> Have you guys seen that? When, when I first saw it, I was like, this is absurd. But recently, <laughs> Katy was... We're on the first name. She calls me Ruth. Um, actually, she called me Rachel. And I was like, that is my name now. Um, no, um... Katy Perry was in uh, a cosmetics ad and she had the bangs and I was like, I don't know which one is which. So they, they do. Uh, it's a fact. So <laughs> I don't, I don't think it was either. Like I think oh. he was, I think he was trying to impress me. Gotcha. It might but have just I been a park bench. Yeah. I think it was me. It was you? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if you had bangs, I would I would probably get you confused with them. Skin tight you jeans should, what the teenage Bangs are no bangs. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? No bangs. I could Whatever have told fire you, works for you. I could have told you every word to that song until I realized Josh knew part of it and there's nothing in there now. Oh, like <laughs> are you a sorceress? Yes. <laughs> Did you take them? Okay, sorry. So you had a guy, he was a name dropper. Oh, no, he, he was, that's pretty much it for him. God, uh, Vince Vaughn is such a name dropper, too. I, <laughs> I was, how was Vince doing? <laughs> uh, the other guy, the other guy was fine. He was kind of just like, it was just a weird set. I, I did not fit in in Los Angeles because he, oh man, there was one time he brought this lady home and he was like showing her off like, uh, hey everybody! Uh, so this is a uh, Kate. She's gonna be staying over maybe tonight. Um, <laughs> and she's just standing there. Well, she she was standing there, uh, and she was like looking straight down. <laughs> she didn't make eye contact with anyone in the house. And I think that they hooked up or something. And then oh no, this was the guy. He did, he wore boxer shorts twenty four seven. He just was wandering around the world, room wearing boxer shorts. He'd open the door of my room, stand there in his boxer shorts, be like. <laughs> Hey, buddy, what's going on? You gonna go see a sh comedy show tonight? Cool. All right, I'll catch you later. And then it just linger for three more minutes. <laughs> but it was so it was so sad because he was like so proud, like hey, I got laid. But like this girl did not want to be there. <laughs> so, like she was like, uh, let's just do this and I'll leave. So um, would he? LA like sounds so kick ass. <laughs> yeah, it's LA for me. LA was like. There are agent types and there are like artist types. And I couldn't stand agent types and I couldn't stand most artist types. You know what I mean? <laughs> As like, I don't know. I, maybe I'm just a terrible person. No. Well, did you find anyone there that you you connected with? Yeah. I found I found lots of people. I, let's go we talking about earlier where like there are people who like genuinely like doing comedy and just like having fun and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I met a good handful of people uh, I still stay in touch with. But I'd say 90% of them are just like people who are just hoping that the entertainment industry will discover them and apologize for not to seeing them earlier. You know, yeah. oh I'm sorry we didn't cast you earlier. <laughs> yeah. You are. We'll give you a contract for six more Spider-Man reboots and you're good to go. <laughs> and yeah. You're set. Yeah. Real problem with James Garfield this one. <laughs> Don't get me they, started. They have a new Spider-Man, right? That's not yeah. James Garfield. Yeah. Okay. Mondays. They got a... <laughs> oh yeah, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Whatever his name is, he'll be out of the press in a week. <laughs> they gotta, they gotta stop. I don't know. Am I the only person that hates when uh, superhero actors double up? Like, I don't like that Chris Evans is. Oh, two, two different superheroes. Two different superheroes. I don't oh. like. You commented on seeing a uh, in our questionnaire, our secret questionnaire. You commented uh, that you wanted to see a not shitty Green Lantern movie. Yes, it does do. that exist? Is no, that? No, it doesn't. How do you many want were to, there? Do you find yourself a director type that could direct a Green? <laughs> no, Me. I don't. I don't because I don't know how cameras work. <laughs> like I, I don't. I've never been to film school. Oh, you just so. turn them on. Yeah. Well, I couldn't say like just do a right. live Green Green Lantern movie. 
Yeah, I could. I could do an improvised Green Lantern movie. <laughs> Sounds like the worst thing in the world. Um, but no, I think it's something where like if somebody showed me a Green Lantern movie, I could be like, this is bad. This is good. Um, and I didn't say this is good at any point in the uh, Green Lantern movie that just came out. Ooh. It's a bummer. Wait, how many are there? One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was such a long shot. It was such a long shot that they made the Green Lantern. Anyone familiar with Green Lantern? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. It was such a long shot that they made Green Lantern because it's this story about space cops and DC and DC. Now was, I'm suddenly interested in Green yeah. Lantern. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, DC was like uh, for years they were like, well, no one's gonna come see a movie about space cops. Okay, it's too much information. Who are they people talking to? Do they know how many people smoke weed? Like, yeah. <laughs> but but not only that, they said this for for ages, and then and then they're like, it's impossible. It can't be done. And then Marvel makes. Fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. It makes eighty billion dollars, and it's like, yeah, it is done. We just did it, and we're gonna do it three more times. I get mad about this. <laughs> so, here's what I'm. Here's here's my here's my frustration. Hot take. The fact that I had to ask how many have there been, like that's crazy to me. Yeah. Like usually there's just one. Like the, you have a movie and there's one. Like oh, which <laughs> Sophie's Choice are you talking about? The, the origin story. Oh, cool. The the old prequel. You Across. know when yes. she was a child. Steel Magnolias. Just the one where she gives birth to the two children, and you can really tell which one she loves more. Yeah. But then yeah. you have to wait until like three movies in Let's to find what, out. Yeah. yeah oh, exactly what happens. What a long three movies they were Ooh, oh but the cgi God. though yeah oh boy when yeah that, that finger when she's making the yeah. choice a lot it's of people like, <laughs> be. oh yeah they removed her extra polydactyl finger <laughs> when she took that tiger by the toe it was really just it a, was like what <laughs> that is source. just a horrible way to choose yeah you know a lot of people said that hunger great hunger games ripped that series off <laughs> oh, oh really because yeah. they can eat the kid <laughs> have you seen Hung Ruth? Have you seen Hunger Games? Well, <laughs> yeah, I have a cho choice to make. Yeah. <laughs> it's about a company that makes body suits, right? Huh? <laughs> Okay, I don't want to get too uh, deep into this podcast without mentioning that you're not just an improviser. I'm not. Uh, you also support. Uh, barbershop, barbershop quartets. Couldn't say that. Yeah. Uh, and what can you talk about that so for a second they gave, and for they, a thousand they hours? They asked me great. if I did things, and I had to mention this because it's something I do. Uh, <laughs> that's not a bit. I wish. Uh, yes, I am a member of a uh, society that supports barbershop quartet singing. Why are, are you saying that so reluctantly? That's the yeah, coolest shit I've ever so, heard in my life. It's so fucking dumb. <laughs> and, uh, it's, more, not, it's not a like Kazoo Foundation. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, fun fact. What's uh, your problem with Kazoo Foundations? <laughs> but they wouldn't let me in. Okay. <laughs> uh, there are there are three uh, barbershop choruses in Houston alone. <laughs> yeah, they're like big, and uh, there's like I don't know six or seven like active quartets. We got any other shop heads in the room? Any other shop, shop heads? heads. No, no. Um, no, and it's no? it's a thing where like I started doing it because I was a little kid. My dad did it, and so I started doing it, and I was just like a choir kid. Um, and it was like really weird because like nobody like it was the dumbest thing in the world. And then all of a fucking sudden, that fucking sing off show happens, and then everyone's like, "Oh, I do acapella, blah blah blah," <laughs> and like everyone's like, "Oh, you love the pentatonics, don't you?" And it's like, "No, I don't. They suck." <laughs> So yeah. it's like me with ska music, and then all of a sudden everybody's into it. Yeah. And I'm just like, what about the slackers, everybody? Anyway, going on. Wait a second. Well, second wave till I die. The Pentatonics were on a commercial, which is how I know about them, but they spell their name with an X. Is that right? They, you are, Ruth, you're correct. Like the band Rednecks? <laughs> now, here's, here's the thing. Yes. Pentat Pentatonic is a type of scale, all right? That's in music theory. Like on a reptile? Oh, no, not at oh, all. They uh, only a scale play the is, a, is a series of notes. Um, but when <laughs> Like they, what my doctor leaves me? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being an asshole. Uh, <laughs> Ned, but see, what they did is they take that take that C, uh -huh. get that thing right what off. What the? You know what they do? They put an X in its spot. Huh. Does two things. One, okay. it kind of sounds like a C, e? but also it shows they don't play by anyone's rules. <laughs> oh. No. Nor would They're, I want them to. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, That's the kind of 
acapella group that I would love to hear. A rule breaking. <laughs> Once, <laughs> yeah. And no more. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll boil it down. Um, I don't like, uh, I like beatboxing, but I don't, it's just so dumb to have like a designated beatboxer <laughs> in your acapella group. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just nonstop beatboxing. Oh no! My dreams are crushed. <laughs> Is this? Are you a? Are you guys? I think we just made the same joke. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. We're not. Not anymore. Nope. Oh. Don't worry oh, about no, it. No, I do um, fart hands. That's yes. What I call it. Are you a, ma- a manualist? Is that what it's called? And that she- is exactly what it's called. Yeah. Can, you, can you do a little bit? Because we're we're oh, trying to yeah. learn to be as good as Ruth, and you're the only person without a stand. Yeah. Uh, do you want to? <laughs> you can use mine. <laughs> Go. That's great. That is so. So imagine like twelve of those at once. That's yeah. like kind of our thing right now. Thank you. That's great. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> You're just slapping it. You're trying oh, to. you happy idiots. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no. But yeah, so, so have, have you me. ever been in an actual uh, barbershop quartet? Or do Many. you just I've competed, okay. I've competed nationally. You've competed in national quartet contests in our nation. Well, I was beaten. <laughs> I was beaten by some Swedish people, actually. What yeah. were their name? Uh, they were called Lemon Squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> Some dude, some dude went to Sweden and introduced Barbershop, and they're like, oh, I quite like this. And then they just started doing it, and they're great at it. And they beat us every time. They're the cool runnings of Barbershop. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, they it, never heard it. Yeah. They are the, no, they are the, who's the bad guy in Mighty Ducks 3? Iceland. Yeah, they're, they're those guys. They are, they've been unbeatable for four years. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. Uh, an American group has not won the, the Barbershop Quartet contest in like three years. That is tragic. I'm so sorry. You could be the one to fix that. Though. I you could be I the one can't. to beat. I'm doing improv too much. <laughs> okay. Wait, what I'm is the Sweden? Someday. Fuck this. What yeah. is the origin of barbershop quartetting? Uh, people just want to do drugs. Is that? <laughs> like, is that it can't it be a, true. No, it, 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 it requires a lot of true. not listening to other this people. Is so <laughs> fucking boring. So originally, oh, please, uh, <laughs> it started around uh, the FDR times. Uh, around um, that time, they were creating a lot of government agencies. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and so and so they were that like that whole deal. That whole deal. Uh, and so originally it was made as like a joke. Stupid. They made it <laughs> they made an organization as a joke. Uh, and then all of a sudden it just kept going. Like a bunch of people were like, let's just call let's just say that we're doing this and this will give us an excuse to go drink beer. Uh, but then some losers kept doing it, and it's it just da- kept going. I feel so like, not on like improv. Yeah, yeah. It, it could be. <laughs> I feel. I feel like it's also like when I was in high school in that um, song. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even How? when I'm with my boo. You know, I'm crazy over it. <laughs> so um, I heard that song and I was like, I like that. <laughs> and then um, I had a boyfriend at the time and um, nice. I was Quit like, bragging. what's up, boo? <laughs> and then like he said it back to me. And then six years later, we did break up. But, um, <laughs> but like we called it, it like started as a joke, but then yeah. like it was like a legitimate oh. sort of like term of endearment. Oh, that's true. And so true. it's kind of like... Barbershop quartet. That happened to me. That happened to me too. Tell me. I'm in. I'm yeah. I'm in a relationship, and I started calling this person babe because I like her douches do that, and then now I just do it. (laughs) I think that's the only way babe is introduced into a relationship, except for the delightful movie. But um, (laughs) oh yeah, I keep forgetting I was dating dating that pig pig for so long. (laughs) Oh no, no. Um, But yeah, it just it starts with like, hey babe. And you just give me those paper towels, babe. Hey, babe. And then some. At some point, it becomes non-ironic, and you just start doing it. Yeah. You start out by like, stop, stop calling me that. That's weird. I feel, I feel uncomfortable. And then by the end, you're like, I give up. And then, so and why then you're you just call me like, that anymore. Why don't you call me babe anymore? <laughs> ba ram you. Ba ram you. It's a good film. It's a good film. Do you guys sing? Anyone else sing? Do you like to sing? I, I sing mean, besides Katy myself. Perry? Yeah. Uh, I sing in the car, and then I constantly check to make sure that my, like, Bluetooth isn't on. I do the same on. shit. And, like, because, like, that would be so embarrassing, right? <laughs> Nick, Nick told me the scariest story of the world. Our friend Nick is a teacher, uh, and he was in, he was using the restroom, as humans do, uh, and he, he was on the job, was checking his phone, looking at his Snapchats, and through a bizarre circumstance, his number changed or something. 
Some, somehow he got the number of somebody who was friends with a lot of porn stars. So he has a lot of porn stars on Snapchat. I don't know why I'm going into this. Point being is he, he pushed one of those and, and there was no sound. He goes, huh? Push the sound up. Realize he has a Bluetooth speaker in his classroom. <laughs> no! <laughs> he was like, ah! And ran. Luckily, no children were in the classroom. It was like a TA was in there. And I can't like, remember what he explained. I think he said he was like trying to torrent something. He's like, it was just one of the pop-up ads on the side oh that made that God. sound. If there was a, if there were kids in there, I'd be like, someone is hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Get help! Someone is being murdered. <laughs> Great. Yeah, someone man, was. What, what a scary died. world we live in where Bluetooth oh, yeah. is a thing. Like, who, Bluetooth is not a good idea. <laughs> share, no. share, I, need, I need to be able to trace where things are going. Yeah, share, just so I can make sure it's not a bad. That like, and sharing things on Facebook. Ugh. Like, ugh, everything's integrated. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're not getting that back. No, that's, that's gone forever. <laughs> privacy is dead. Yeah, it's out there. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm glad it's gone. You know, I'm tired of privacy. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. So, uh, I have to ask just, you know, before we wrap yeah. anything up. So yeah. you are involved in a podcast <laughs> oh, of your own. Oh, that's right. I am. Uh, Did you forget? <laughs> if you didn't, if I didn't already sound like a humongous dork, uh, I'm in uh, a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Yeah. It's called the Zawcast. And here's the deal. <laughs> has, any, has anyone played Dungeons and Dragons? Here's the deal, guys. <laughs> It's the most fun you literally will ever have. <laughs> it's true. It's really. I, did, it's, I should have raised my hand. I, I put yeah. It's it's real rough for me because I was very resistant at first. I was like Dungeons and Dragons. This I'm gonna be uh, be moving into a new echelon. Like I don't think I could do this. And then by the end, I was like, man, we should have scheduled three more hours of this <laughs> uh, because it's like super fun. And also, we play with a bunch of like improvisers. Yeah. So I, we, I, the game is only as good as everyone's commitment to it. And yeah. That, I think that's what makes it fun. If you have a group of people who are like, let's do this. It's gonna be a fun new we, game. Yeah, and 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 it's uh, pretty good because we make we make a lot of decisions that aren't necessarily going to be the most advantageous, but probably can, the most entertaining. Can you give us just a brief example of one of those? Sure. Uh, so my character is a uh, giant lizard woman. God, I just want <laughs> I want to kick your ass so bad. I know. <laughs> I know you do. Uh, and um, what's what's her name? Uh, her name is Zoff, Z O F. So great lizard name. Yeah. Oh, the American spelling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was it was very interesting because like we were in this one this one zone where we had to. So we somebody in the party had said, "All right, we're gonna fight this thing." Or so. All right, let me back up. <laughs> let me back up. So we had uh, essentially we were witnessing an angel fighting a demon. And uh, somebody had told the angel, hey, we're going to fight on your side. So we had agreed to do this. And then all of a sudden, everyone's dead but me. Oh, <laughs> and boy. then the demon, here's the deal, guys. The demon kills the angel. Like the angel is down for the count. So I'm like, here's the deal. I'm a level one. And uh, that demon just killed an angel. So what do I do? Do I kill the angel and um, make the demon think that I'm aligning with him? Or do I attack this demon in hopes that an angel will suddenly revive itself, which that doesn't seem likely from what I've read in the Bible. Um, <laughs> uh, and it was like, it was very interesting because it was like, I was like, I was trying to make this decision very earnestly, but it was also kind of hilarious because... Um, you killed the fuck out of that angel, right? <laughs> I did kill the angel. Yes. Herb stomped, yeah. But uh, it is... It, but it is a... Just roll a D1. Yep, my foot hit her, <laughs> hit the head. Yeah. Uh, it, is a, it is a super fun podcast that you should check out. It's called The Zawcast. It's on iTunes. How, how do you spell... Uh, like like the uh, re Renaissance uh, exclamation, H U. Yep, one more time. H U Z Z A H. H U Z Z A H. Yeah, it's super funny. Super fun. <laughs> okay, this is Brenda. <laughs> oh, hey Brenda. And this is Brenda. Podcast regular. Uh, I'm in the podcast with Roger. <gasps> I'm on Hazakast. <gasps> so, the way he kills this angel. <laughs> <laughs> the way he kills this angel. I was there. I sat across the table from him <laughs> while he did this. It was upsetting. It was up, like I had a visceral reaction. To be fair, you were dead, so you couldn't have too visceral of a reaction. <laughs> I'm assuming you said knocked out. I, yes. I was like down for the count, but I was still alive. So imagine like you're you have no control over the situation. You're waiting to get up and then you see 
your friend murder an angel <laughs> in the worst, in the worst way possible. But he thought about it. He yeah. weighed all of the options. I didn't see that part. But it <laughs> happened so fast in the mind of a I may, I may, I may have stabbed an angel in the eye. Sockets. <laughs> and went back to the Jolly Roger. With a war hammer. With a war hammer. War hammer. <laughs> so Wait, how do you stab with a hammer? How do you stab with a hammer? Eye. So I'll, I'll tell you. Well, you should tune in to find out. Oh, uh, my hammer! Ooh. My hammer's got a point on the end. Just to be so clear, we're more. talking about Chris Angel, right? Yeah, Chris. Yeah, An- yeah. Chris Angel was the angel. You freaked the fuck out of his mind. <laughs> gave him a mind. Gave him a little mind freak. Uh, but you should you should definitely check it out. It is super funny. Um, we we uh, we're all like I said, we're all improvisers. So we. Um, Go on some hilarious tangents if I don't say so myself. Oh, I love that. Are you on iTunes, Stitcher, yes, iTunes. all the things? I don't know if it's on Stitcher. I should check that out, huh? Get, yeah, yeah, get it registered. Get it's a, easy. Get on that Stitch. Yeah. 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 It's stitched up, dude. Yeah. John Wayne can listen to it then and nobody else. Yeah, yeah John right. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. That was the first thing we did with uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Binge was like, we have to do Stitcher before iTunes for John Wayne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What, uh, what happened when you played Dungeons and Dragons? Uh, it was in college over at the UNT, University of North Texas. Uh, I think I played just a barbarian and just tried to go berserk as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's, your life, that's your life motto. Yeah, you yeah. Wanna... Uh, you try to reach bloodlust by just running your head into a wall <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah. Once your HP is down, you're just going at it. Just get uh, in there. And that's even just for like buying equipment. <laughs> you know, I feel like I feel like you barter the mo- the best when you're just like clawing at somebody. Uh, just take the pouch. Just, yeah. yeah. No, I'd I'd like to play again. It's been like uh, nigh on six years, seven yeah. years. Neon. Everyone, everyone should try it one time. It's like <laughs> cocaine. But not at a family reunion when yeah. everybody's had too many sandwiches. And like, come on, Ruthie, you'll love it. We actually have a diagram. And I'd be like, no, I'm at the big kids table. Yeah. What's if your if your Dungeons and Dragons group formed a barbershop quartet? Yeah. Ooh. Do you have any idea what they would be called? What the name would be? Yeah. Hmm. I don't. Do, what's one of the ones you've had in the past? The names Barbershop Quartet. Uh, oh, yeah. So we I was in a, it was in a Barbershop Quartet called Level Up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spelled all correct. Any Level X's? Up. Yeah, and we used a uh, <laughs> we used a, a classic Nintendo font. <laughs> Because we were graphic artists, <laughs> graphic designers. What, uh, maybe not even just names you had, because mm-hmm. that Swedish name was yeah. great. Uh, yeah. Favorite so, barbershop quartet names. Quartet, quartet names I've heard. Uh, so let's think. Um, what if there's one? <sighs> Damn it. Um, we have all there was, night. All right. I'll say there's one. Uh, there was one that was called H H H H H H H H H H H. Yeah. Did you nine? Uh, nine. That's like three triple H's. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> they and they didn't give any or they they said uh, so. Someone asked them like, did you just when you were filling out your thing, did you just press H a bunch of times until when you let you? And they're like, no. The, we're called H. We're called this for a reason, but they never said why. It's what it stands for when we win. <laughs> <laughs> they did not win. They were not very good. They were Spent not too good, much time on that name. <laughs> not a good quartet. No. Um, don't don't go to a barbershop quartet con- convention. It's so funny because it's like a bunch of sixty year old guys with pensions and nothing to do all day, and so they just like invade a hotel. It's so sad because like I started and they, they sing nonstop for three days. And they they do not sound good. Uh, they are oh, old no. and their ears have worn away. And so they speaking can't. of you and T, there was uh, when I first moved into my dorm <laughs> just earlier. Speaking of that thing I said yeah. a long time ago, yeah. uh, there was a group of kids next to us. I guess like when you get to college, one of the first things that you're trying to find like, oh, what's a new thing I can do? Yeah. Group next to us wanted to start a bar- barbershop quartet yeah, and they were so bad. <laughs> and, and it was every day they would only practice the end of the song <laughs> so, so it'd be like ah, ah, yeah. and they uh, would just try to get that note over and over again so fyi oh. that's called that's called tagging <laughs> I'll, I, I'll start my own podcast about <laughs> this stuff no one's know about but like um uh i went to a youth barbershop quartet camp at unt when i was looking <laughs> Um, but anyway what I was it was taught by my dorm mates yeah. yeah exactly what i was gonna say was it's so sad because like 
Uh, one time we had an international contest. That's where everyone comes. And it was Friday. And I was looking over and I saw a dude in a tuxedo <laughs> and a woman in a wedding dress checking in. And I oh. went over to them. I was like, you got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Your your wedding night's about to be ruined. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Let's All talk right. about sex, baby. Maybe let's, let's talk about, about you. I don't know. I you guys. Let's talk about let's talk all about the good it. things <laughs> and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Are we doing it right? Are we kicking ass? Is this your nightmare? Yeah, I, th- I think we did it. <laughs> Could we beat Lemon Squeezy? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. We're going to bring you back to the States. Yeah. The stacks with an X. You don't <laughs> Oh, I just realized. Wait, don't the Pringles already have stacks like the stacks? <laughs> Pringles. Stacks. All right. Lay's, Lay's had stacks. I don't think we're gonna hit a higher point than that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what would you have to say? No, say get them as a sponsor. Oh, the stacks. Lay's stacks. Lay's stacks. Oh. Yeah. And it sounds French. Speaking of sponsors, Lay we have that Lone Star here on me. Yeah. Yeah. at the Wofford. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much to the Wofford for having us for Woo. the first yeah, time thanks. ever. <laughs> They're absolutely wonderful. This is probably my favorite room we've had this in, even though it's only been one before. Absolutely. Uh, I want to come back forever. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for Roger Anderson. Thank you, guys. Ow! Jesus Christ, that was fun. Um, thanks to everybody who came out. Holy shit, this is uh, too many people. Uh, yeah, I need about enough. half of you to, to not come next time. Don't listen. <laughs> All right. Listen thanks so much for coming out, everybody. This is The Stacks. <laughs> Good. You sounded great.